This is the Angeles National Forest. Above, above the city of Angels in Southern California. And it's an hour above. Would you say that's 60 miles then, if it's an hour above Los Angeles? It, you know, it's... I would say maybe 45 minutes, maybe something like that. There are different, you know, the, the mountain range varies. You know, depending on where you're going in that mountain range, it could take you longer or shorter amount of time to get there. And it, it looks to me like in this situation here, this could be Bigfoot in uh, under construction. Building something? I think building a, a shelter. Yeah, we, we talked about the tree. This is a little bit different angle. But we talked about the tree that's bent over and then, I mean, leaning against this other tree. And then they have all these other trees in the side. So what is he actually doing there? We also talk about the Hollywood Hills. A lot of actors are not that far from Bigfoot. Literally, you had said 60 minutes. You know, now actors, the most famous actors in the world, are one hour a one-hour oh, drive away from, away Bigfoot. from Bigfoot. Now they are. I mean, and they've been there all along. Maybe Bigfoot before was in the higher elevations in the Angeles National Mountains, so you never saw him. Now it's not only an hour away, but it's on the lower elevation. Do the Hollywood community, who are always taking up causes, do they owe any debt yeah, to Bigfoot? Are they in support of Bigfoot? Would they would they take up that cause? And you know, maybe they do. Being that close, within that close proximity, maybe they should be put planting water out there for Bigfoot. Maybe they should be concerned about the safety of Bigfoot and it's the females having their young. That's something to, to talk about. So health care for female Bigfoot. Health care for female Bigfoot. Recently in the news, a, a female gorilla was giving birth. She couldn't give birth. There was a complication. And they uh, performed a C-section. Now, would that ha does that uh, do these things happen with Bigfoot? Okay, now that's a good point. A gorilla would be less evolved than a human, but yet humans are doing emergency C sections on gorillas. Now, it's not that out of the question. You had talked about a previous episode how the Delta smelt fish is that what it's called? It is the Delta smelt, which is limiting our uh, fresh water in the Southern California. It's a fish that the gov U.S. government is giving special environmental protection. Now that brings up another point. Have they gained personhood? Has this fish gained rights? Yeah, well, I mean, that that's certainly a step, you know, in t for that whole cause of, of personhood, which could affect Bigfoot. But going back to what we were talking about before with the actors and Bigfoot possibly becoming, you know, actors have a lot of causes. Will Bigfoot become a cause? I would hope so. How does Nicolas Cage figure into all this? Nicolas Cage, he resembles Bigfoot. I mean, he's very close he has that Neanderthal look. Maybe he has some Bigfoot DNA. So I don't, I don't know if he has Neanderthal look per se. Maybe he does, but there's certainly an artist, Italian artist, I can't think of the name offhand, that, who did a sculpture of Nicolas Cage on, on a computer digital sculpture, and he turned him into Bigfoot, which I'd like to post it sometime. Now, are you calling upon Nicolas Cage to champion the Bigfoot rights? Well, I mean, a certain amount of the uh, human population has Neanderthal genes, and maybe some of them should step up to the plate and get behind the Bigfoot cause as far as maybe some kind of, not, you know, health care or some kind of protection for them. I mean, I'm saying health care after they're discovered, but, you know, it's not, believe me, if you're watching this, we got photos this good, and we got a ton of photos. Well, I mean, the fact that uh, Bigfoot is in such close proximity to all these famous Hollywood stars means that they need to maybe take on that cause. Add that to their list of causes. The time is ticking before Bigfoot is captured, I and mean, it's, it's only a matter of time. If you, if you use your logic, and we have this many good photos, then you know it's only going to be a matter of time. And you, and you know there's been a lot of foolishness, silliness, buffoonery, idiocy in the Bigfoot community where people say that, gee, it's, it's eight feet tall, but it's never been, no one's able to get a picture of it. The, the Patterson-Gimlin film is the only one that's ever been doing it, been able to do, to do that. And you know how foolish that is now. But there is supposedly how many in the United States? I mean, there, there's... there's. I think a, Jeff Jeff Meldrum agrees there's 10,000. So there's, there's 10,000 out there, but only one can be captured, Patterson-Gimlin. That's the only one that can be captured by the camera. It's silliness, and the people that believe that are, are just... Are, it's shameful. It's shameful. They're just. I don't know how they can call themselves real big, bigfoot people. I mean, why would you even think like? That?